Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to create key performance indicators in Power BI. So for this we will go on the canvas of Power BI. We will activate the KPIs. The next thing which we have to specify is the values. Let's pick up the sales. In trend axis, we will pick up the order date. The next thing which we want to do is we want to specify the target, the target of the sales. So we'll have to create the new measure. So click here, new measure. Let's specify the target sales is equal to sum of the superstore sales close the bracket into 1.2 times so this was our target enter so a new variable has been generated the new measure has been generated now pick up this target sales and drop it into the target it is red which means that we have not achieved the target. The sales which we have achieved is less than the 16% than what was targeted. Now we will decrease this 1.2 and make it 0.9 and let's see what happens. 0.9, enter. It has turned green, which means that the target has been achieved. Now let's format this KPI. So activate the focus mode. Click on call out values. So KPIs can be adjusted on left hand side, center, right. Vertical adjustment. Display units. At present, it is displayed in thousands, it can be changed into millions. Icons, the size of the icons. Trend axis, do we require it or not? We can specify high is good or low is good. Moreover, the color can also be changed. When the target is achieved, it is green color. When the target is not achieved, it is red color. Transparency of this trend line, do we require it or not? Target label. So the target label is specified in black color. It can also be changed. Moreover, the size of the font, the type of the font can also be changed. What is the name which we want to give? Do we want to give the name goal? or we want to write down here as a target. Distance to goal, that is a, do we require it in the percentage or not? Date. So you can activate the date from here, if it is necessary. Now go into general settings, activate the properties. Back to the report. By increasing this number, the height of the chart will increase. This will increase the width of the chart. Position. This will shift the chart towards the right hand side. This will shift towards the bottom. Now, activate the padding. So, increasing this number will increase the white space on the left hand side. This will increase the white space on the right hand side. This will increase on left hand side, this is right hand side, this is bottom and this is on the top. Title, if it is necessary, uh, you activate the title. So we don't want to specify the sum of sales, only sales. You can see our sales and target, target sales by order date. It is in black color, the color can be changed from here. Do we require any background color? Let's pick up the background. Done. Uh, keep it in the center. Subtitles if it is necessary, on it and specify the subtitles. Divider, do we require divider? 
So the black color divided is activated with we are increasing to three points spacing. By increasing this number, the white portion between the title and the KPIs will increase. Effects. Background color. Let's take a smooth background color. Visual borders to be required. Uh, let's increase a little bit the transparency. Visual border if we require it on it, black color and make the corners round. Shadow, activate the shadow. So either the shadow can be displayed outside or inside. Uh, bottom right, top right, left, where do we want our shadow? Okay. Activate the focus mode. So it, so it looks quite good. In header icons, see the header icons are related to the filters on visuals, focus mode and more options. So if you want, you can change the color of this also. Border and the icons. So I will insist that for filters and focus mode, keep the settings on default mode only. So this is your KPI. So this was all about how to create KPIs in Power BI. For more such videos on Power BI, you can refer to my playlist in which I have uploaded many videos on Power BI. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like and share the videos on Power BI. You can also join me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Link is given in the description box.